Never not working, I'm feeling like jewels. Never not working, I'm feeling like jewels. Never not working, I'm feeling like jewels. Hey, Beyond Lounge, Mars Three Times. You guys want to introduce yourselves? I'm Austin Huggins, a uh, graphic designer from Los Angeles. For Pleasures now. Let's fucking go. Pleasures. And who, who, who's next to you? What's up? Who's this guy? What's up? I'm Wyatt. Uh, Wyatt Navarro, model, designer, pretty guy all around. Jack of many trades. Jack of all trades, dude. Master of none? Pretty much. That's how I feel, too. I do a lot. And then I, I try. Not, I'm not really great at anything, but I'm pretty good at everything. I'm I'd pretty rather, decent. I'd rather be good at everything than great at one thing. Me too. That's how I feel. You know what? You know what too? It's like they're always like, it's better like don't be a jack of all trades to be a master at one. You know, but like I feel like they're trying to trap you. You know what I mean? Fuck you up, dude. Never yeah. confine yourself to one uh, one thing. You know? For sure, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. You got some questions for Wyatt? I know you do. I mean, I got questions. No, I, I got some questions. I got some. Questions. Now that you guys have. Let's talk about it. Why? I really just want to know your uh, inspiration in your free time, you know? Like, well, where does it all come from? Where does it all stem from? Hey, fuck everyone. Find inspiration in, like, everyday things. You know what I mean? Like what, though? Like, for example? Like, go outside, ride a bike, go on a hike. <laughs> fuck, like, being on Instagram all day and, like, seeing what other people are doing. Just find inspiration in things that you like outside of what everyone else is doing. Definitely, definitely. It sounds kind of cliche, but honestly, I think I think every cliche is true except for the one about the master of all trades and Jack and Gun. <laughs> that's that's the only one that I don't think is true. I think every other one is is facts. No, and it sucks that they're cliches because they're cliche. But, I mean, but it's like they hold some truth. No, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Yo, what I wanted to ask you is, how do you start your brand? And like, to me, uh, I'm from Miami, so like it kind of came out of nowhere. It was like pleasures. Was like I went to like a like one of your drops. Like, shit was fire, obviously. Like, it's a no-brainer, but, like, I feel like it's huge now. And, like, what was, like, when did you start, and how did it get to here? Uh, it honestly uh, just grows naturally. You kind of just got to post what you like, kind of just stay true to what music you like, what movies you watch, and uh, people will just gravitate if you're... Kind of just, if they, like, relate to if, it. If you're just into what you're into, you don't got to force it. You try to really sell it. Why? How do you feel about that? Can it agree more? <laughs> nah, that's cool. I mean, I like with what you said about that. Because a lot of times people, like, kind of goes back to the earlier question, like, where do you find inspiration? Like, you gotta just know what feels right and like, just do what is true to you, honestly. You know, Straight up, just listen to some music. <laughs> what, what are some of y'all's favorite movies? Favorite movie? Yeah. Have you ever seen the movie Funny Games? No. Watch the movie Funny Games. Hands down, one of my favorite movies. Heavyweights. You ever seen Heavyweights? No. I'm, I feel like I'm uncultured swine. I only see, see the one thing, the one thing that like I'm a master of is like, I guess you could say like, I don't even want to say it. I want to say rap music. I was about to say SoundCloud rap music, but I don't want to say that. You know? I, I feel like I know more than more than just SoundCloud rap music. Seen, Everybody always tries to put me in a box. Have you seen Fight Club? Yeah, I've seen Fight Club. That's a fire movie. You know a movie I don't like? Huh. Fucking, what's that movie that Fitzum made, a, made us watch that one night? Oh, <laughs> Megan is Missing. That was the missing. worst movie ever. And Megan is Missing. What are the, don't watch that no, movie. No, fuck that. Watch Please that movie. Please don't dude. watch that movie. You'll definitely get something out of that. A bad night. I can see why people hate it, but I mean. I guess it's I like. It's, it's definitely worth watching. It's definitely like art in the sense that like. It's very polarizing. You either like love it or you hate it. There's no, you you don't leave watching that movie being like, uh, I don't know how I your felt life, about you, it. Your life is definitely not changed, but it's it's definitely worth watching and trying to understand like what the fuck. Why did I sit down and watch two hours of some bullshit? Uh, that movie. I'm not saying like it's it's not a good movie. I'm saying like it's just terrible and it's just. I, I still don't know what movie we're talking about. It's. <laughs> Fitz, watch, you want to come over here and time. explain this movie? No. Yo, Fitzum like some dirty no, you, you gotta, you gotta come over Fitzum here, just, Hey, Fitzum's a sicko. <laughs> He's got a sick collection, let me yeah, tell you. you can't expect him to like <laughs> tell you anything like normal. There's no way. Yo, so what, what, well, I mean, I'm gonna ask you a question, and maybe you think it's corny, but like, yo, what was it like to, designing a Converse? It was much more than I could fucking believe, dude. It was crazy, honestly. I, I kind of got the, the notice about making the Converse like super late. I don't know, it came out of nowhere, and uh, I don't know, I was super excited, I feel like everyone else, like, it, 
it's fucking crazy. It's so fucking dope. <laughs> to me, dude, I'm so tripping over it. It's insane. Like, what do you do when you see someone? Like, fucking bug out and try to contain myself. <laughs> How many like times have you seen insane. somebody wear it? Like, and it's crazy too because you could just like what go to Foot Locker and buy them. Yeah. Go, foot locker. Go, foot locker. go to Foot Locker and cop his shoes. Um, dude, it's insane. Are you kidding me? Like, I literally wrote in my notes in February of 2018, design a shoe with Converse. And then uh, in May, I got an email like, to design a shoe. That's and insane. Like, what the fuck? Fucking congratulations, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. No, I'm definitely still tripping on it. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll trip on it for the rest of my life. Like, that's, that's super. That's like a big accomplishment. No, so major. Honestly. How did how did you come up with the design? Because like, like what, what was the what was, did you go outside and ride a bike and you're like, all right, this is the shoe I'm gonna make right now. Uh, I mean, it was a lot of my drawings that I'm very used to. I kind of go back to like certain motifs and like kind of just have certain characters that I draw and like that's kind of what I came up with on the shoe, just drawing whatever came to mind. I didn't have one set design for it. It just kind of, you know, off the, off the tongue, yeah, kind of happened. And it just threw up on it. Pretty much, <laughs> threw up on it, yeah. No, that's amazing, dude, and like, super congratulations yeah, to you. I, I try not to make stuff too deep, because sometimes it gets kind of... It's like too much, but I mean, honestly, that's that's something to definitely write home about, you know? Yeah, definitely, 100%. I'm proud of that. I'm, I'm not going to say that I'm not. I'm yeah. say it's like some little thing. It's major, I'm for sure. I'm a flex sure. app, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yo, so how, how long have you been doing graphic design? Uh, a couple of like years, like maybe three years. Did you, was Pleasures the first thing or was there other clothing brands before Honestly, Pleasures? That was the first brand I worked for. That was the first one? Like, like, shooting photos and then if you know. Ask, ask him about graphic content. Hey, let's talk about it. Let's talk about graphic it. Graphic content. That was the first brand. Uh, maybe we'll be real good with one day. So it was called Graphic Content? Great name. I like it. I like Pleasures. Pleasures is amazing. Like Pleasures is fire. Pleasures is really good. It's fire, but it's long gone now. <laughs> it's long gone. Seen us better days. Yeah. Uh, did, was, was clothes always a thing, or was there? Were you guys ever rappers? God no. <laughs> Actually, Only in my dreams. I have my fair share of SoundCloud songs. I'm not gonna lie. Where are those? Yeah. The people would love deep, to know. Deep, 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 <laughs> deep, deep. Wait, wait, hold on. But, but what if? Can we get like a clue? Like, how do we spell the, how what it is? Is it just Wyatt? Is it Wyatt Nevada? I don't even know. It's, it's Lil, it's Lil, what's your rap it's name? So it's deep, Lil Wyatt. It's so deep gone. Like, it's Lil Wyatt. No. If y'all had Lil Wyatt. <laughs> Lil Wyatt. <laughs> if y'all had to choose a rap name, what would it be? Potato. Potato. <laughs> Potato boy. <laughs> That's my rap name. Mine would be Young Boppet. Young Boppet. <laughs> Yo, so um, I, I kind of fuck with Young Boppet, honestly. We should run with that. More than Potato Boy? I think I don't potato, know boy, potato Boy. Potato Boy, I don't know about it. Potato Boy. I got a question for you, Mars. How's that going back to Florida? It's amazing every time. Really? Yeah, and people treat me different. They like me more. <laughs> <laughs> for real, though. It's crazy because like I feel like I've, ever, I've only ever known you with like long, crazy caveman hair. Yeah. Did you, like you guys want to hear the story about that? Like grown up, like shaved head, you, got a job, like yeah. suit top. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, life's different now all, all of a sudden. Um, it's cool though. But, uh, but yeah, I got lice. You got lice? I got lice. <laughs> all right, I got to go. <laughs> Yo, where did they find you at? Dude, lice? Oh, it's pretty heavy. Yeah. You have to yeah, I've never too. had lice. No, I was, I was like, so, so I was trying to like work it out because I didn't want to really cut my hair. But close. But then like, it just wasn't working out, so I'm like, fuck it. I, get my, I told my uncle to get the, the blade, and I just like, Shh. You gotta do what you gotta do, man. Yeah, man, it sucked, but I feel like I got like a new lease on life, you know? Did you get like your 1 a.m. tattoo yet? Yeah, look, check it out. Where's it at? Damn. Big flex stuff. Shout out to 1 a.m. radio. She's got an a.m. I, I wanted to get it on my I honestly wanted to get it on my face, but I'm just not there yet. You're never, no, 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 a face tat is, you're never not going to be there yet, you just have to do it, and that I know. cements you into, like, I know. the rest I, of your life. And I want it super bad, but I'm just, like, I'm scared that, like, something doesn't work out. I'm, it's scared, it's fear. But listen, if we all get face tats, they can't not hire all of us. That's true, that's true. We need to start, like, yo, that was, that was something else. Who else are they going to hire for that? We need to start like a Facebook group, big book group, and just get everybody on it, and we all just all get face tats together. Where you need a face tat to get hired. Let's fucking Let's go, game up, dude. dude. Wow. <laughs>
fucking wow. Did you, guys, did, you guys, did you guys watch uh, Shaq West? No, I've been in here all day. Neither do we. I've been trapped. I kind of wanted to see him though. Me too. I wanted to see everybody, honestly. Did you guys watch Nate Day though? Yo, Nate fucking. Day. Let me talk talking about, about Nate Day. Day. Wow, yes. Gotta bring some energy. Shout out Nate Day. Shout out Nate Shout Day. Out Death by Woman comes out today. Shout out off the course. The album's dropping. It's dropping by Woman. December 14th. So, yo, where can they find y'all at? SoundCloud, what's your SoundCloud link? Shout you your SoundCloud link. You can find me at the bar. My SoundCloud is soundcloud.com slash Nate Day. Boom. Let's fucking go. Thank you guys for coming back. Thank you. Kill, kill, kill. Shout out Austin Hawkins. Damn. I remember the first time I came out with Austin. I remember the thought rate. Do you still have that, that hot tub? I still have the hot tub.